hello everyone, this is Alex from Gaines. Today I'm joined by Alessio, who is the senior biz dev at Backstage. How are you doing, Alessio? Very good, guys. Nice to, to meet you here and uh, to have us here. It's a pleasure. So if you want to tell us what Backstage is very quickly so we can get a, an idea. Backstage is an entire ecosystem that bring uh, Web3 technology to the entertainment industry. We are a 70% mainstream and 30% crypto oriented. So what we're really doing and our goal and mission has been so far since the beginning is bringing Web3 technology to the backend of Web2 platforms and connect that with all the network of the events and sports or entertainment industry. The idea come from the industry. The people from the industry are the core team of the, of the team. So we have like people coming from the entertainment industry that they've been in that for over 25 years. They own clubs in London, Ibiza, and Denmark and other places around the world. So they already know in and out of uh, the industry, what are the problems and what can be solved. And then we have the people from the crypto side that they actually help in on fixing that situation. That's why we are in the back end of the web to technology. The idea comes from numbers and from what happened during the pandemics. We realized that the entertainment industry is a $1.7 trillion market. It's going to increase actually around 35% in the next three to five years. If we look in a company like Ticketmaster uh, or even time that they're selling tickets, they just take 2% of that industry. So we're looking about a huge amount of business that can be done. It's still like available for, for everybody. Concretely, what is going to change? What is the value you add? for companies, for clients, like retailers, individuals, and uh, you know, what's maybe is the use case of the token? So Backstage, like I said before, is an entire ecosystem powered by the BKS token. And this ecosystem is divided in feature. First and most important, we have uh, the marketplace that is like kind of the social network where everybody from the industry gather together. And we're not talking only about artists, creators and fans, but we're talking about everybody in the industry from the promoters, the owner of the venues, people that they normally used to work in the back end of the events. So they organize the events, uh, the music system. So all these people, they're going to be able to actually have a network where they can gather together, they coexist together, they find jobs, they can promote themselves, they can promote their arts. And uh, for the side of the, the fans, they can get closer to their favorite artists. They're going to be able to finance their show, finance their tours, uh, have the special experiences and stuff like that. So that's what is the marketplace looks like. Then we have a second feature that is the NFT ticketing. That's very important because we saw that the NFT technology is very important. It's going to change completely the way we see business. It's safer. So it avoid like scams and uh, contrafeeding of ticketing, that it's a huge business too. We're talking about million of ticketing that are actually fake during every events. It's going to be faster. We're not going to have any uh, middlemen. So of course, we're going to save money and rescue money from those companies and give it back to the artists where they belong and to the funds. So low fee transactions and of course, all the engagements and marketing that come up with those NFTs. We're talking about loyalties, royalties, and all these features that they're gonna increase the experience, the gadgets, sells, the meet and greet with the artist, everything that can actually be helpful if for the artist, for the fans, and for the business owner, because they're gonna be able to engage again with all those people forever, every time that they pass their events, festival, show, clubs, or whatever. So those NFTs are going to completely change the way we see the entertainment industry and the way that we see the experience of those entertainment industries. Then we have a third feature that is post-wallet integration. That's going to help a lot for crypto payments in mainstream. So we actually develop a pay system for the venues, for the clubs, festival, and whatever is going to accept it, where people are going to be able to pay with the top five, top 10 crypto, and the owner receive like big ass token. So that's very important because it's going to help, of course, the function and the health of the project. And it's going to allow all those businesses to actually reach the crypto enthusiasts that now are over 300 million around the world and they're growing very fast. So that's a very good thing for us and for the mass adoption of, of crypto. Then we have a fourth feature that is the Launchpad crowdfunding. We're doing this to help the industry, to help people, to help the new artists reach their top 
uh, to help ideas for creating new festival, new clubs, new events. And that's it thanks to the community. So the community is going to participate actively to the life of those events, festival, and to the life of those artists or the favorite artists. They're going to be able to finance their shows, to finance their new ideas, to bring them in some specific spot where they've never been before. And on top of that, they're going to gain something out of it. And last but not least, we have the Metaverse implementation, thanks to our partner Xmana, that is a company from Los Angeles. We are developing different features that they're going to be implemented during uh, the events. We have an augmented reality play to earn games that we're going to use to create special experiences during the show. I can give you an example, like you are in Blue Marlin Ibiza and you get outside in the dock in front of the ocean. And if you pull up your phone and uh, see the ocean, you're going to be able to do a little fishing games. And if you catch a certain amount of fish or some specific fish, you're going to have free bottle of wine or some specific gadget from the club. Same things during events, you have like the singer on in the concert or the band that they're like playing and at one point they're going to say, hey guys, looks up in the air with your phone. There's going to be a drop uh, of uh, you know, NFT ratings and if you catch one of them, you're going to get special meet and greet with us or like special gadget or special this for the, the events, etc. So possibilities are, you know, endless. We have like a lot of, of opportunity on that side on branding on marketing so you can add everything with all the partners and make the experience totally different. The second step is we are creating an app, a video games where you're going to be able to have your avatar and get inside of the metaverse without using lens. You're going to use your phone, a tablet or computer, and you're going to be able to move around with your personalized avatar and get inside all of the e-commerce shops, uh, clubs, uh, stadiums that we are building in the metaverse and actively buy stuff or engage there with your artists, your community or your favorite brand. And that last but not least is going to be the full implementation. So it's, it's been done by steps to see the acceptation of the crowd and, you know, uh, the evolution of this uh, brand new market. The utility of the token inside of this ecosystem are endless too. You're looking on buy food and beverage in uh, during events. So you're looking on uh, specific discounts if you use the BKS token. There's going to be a buyback system that's going to help the healthy of the of the token. At the end of every event, they're gaining from for the company. They're going to be used to buy back in the market the token. We're going to have a staking system, so people are going to be able to hold percentage of their tokens and get money out of it. Same for the vesting condition of the token. We have long vesting condition in our tokenomics, so everybody are really committed on the long run, at least the people inside of the business. So the core team and everybody in the advisory and, and marketing side, they actually have uh, accept those long uh, vesting condition. And the same for the business owner of the clubs and et cetera, that they uh, going to accept payments. It's a, it's part of the payment is locked for a period of time, so they cannot cash it out altogether. And that's going to help a lot on the value of the token. Again, we're going to have burn system. We have a structure. We have structure like a, a very safe environment for, for all token holders. And uh, we're going to have a lot of rewards for people that they're going to use because for the marketplace, it's the same. People, they're going to be able to announce themselves, promote themselves. They, they need to hold a certain amount of token to be able to announce themselves or promote themselves, etc. So there are a lot of features for, for the BKS utility and for the entire ecosystem. Wow. So there's quite a lot to unpack here. Is there anything else you would like to mention, explain, maybe share uh, your vision for the future, longer term? Well, one thing I want to say to the community, because I see that it's a strong community and uh, they really love what we are doing. And, and many of those people have uh, put money. Some of them probably lost some money during this market. What I want to say on my experience and what I'm looking around is that this is something that was supposed to happen. Unfortunately, it was supposed to happen because uh, social media are promoting in the wrong way crypto. As a marketing, they try to gather a certain type of clientele that is not the right one for crypto adoption at the moment. Because some of the people come inside for easy money, quick money, and they're the first people that they get hurt about this market because they don't really know how to manage it. And they are the first one that they then go outside and talk wrong things about crypto. Our goal is actually... The opposite. Our goal is involve everybody in the right way, explaining exactly how things goes and bring mass adoption of crypto in the real world. We use in entertainment that it's something that it's everybody know. It's simple to understand. We're using uh, front end interfaces 
for everything that we are developed in an easy way so like people know and know already how to use those uh, front ends. So I give an example. Uh, people are going to be able to participate and show up to events, buying tickets on our platform without really opening a wallet. They're going to still receive like a QR code and a link that they can show up, they can get inside, and then they can be able to actually download and open a wallet if they want it. So we are not inventing anything new. We are actually really trying to do what suppose, you know, crypto born to do. So bring new opportunity, easier way, cleaner way and safer way to actually do business. Alessio, uh, thank you so much. It's an honor. We're very proud to, to be supporting you with gains as well, because I do see how hard you guys work and not only how hard you work, because working hard is one thing, but what matters a bit more is getting results and you are getting results. So that's really exciting to see. Again, all the links will be in the description below the website, the Twitter, Telegram for everyone who wants to learn more about Backstage. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for more awesome content. Thank you, Alessio. Thank you, Alexander. And thank you guys to have my have me here.